Have you ever struggled with scaling your rectangle mask proportionally in Premiere Pro? I know that I have, but after today's video, it's going to be a struggle of the past. Let's get into it. Here in my timeline, I have this dancer stock video clip from ArtGrid, and I'm going to be editing a music video with a film crop. So with a mask with rounded corners. So what I'm going to do is go up to effect controls down to opacity and click on this rectangular mask or create four point polygon mask, and it will create a mask. Now, what you may have tried to done in the past is click on a corner and then hold shift to try to scale it up, but it's only doing one corner. What the f is going on? Why isn't it working? You may have tried also taking all four corners and trying to scale it, but it still doesn't work. So what are, what are we doing wrong here? So the way it works actually is you need to hover at the corner till you get that kind of rotational symbol and then press shift and then you'll get this double arrow. And once you see that double arrow, then click and scale up. And look at that, finally it's working. For so many years, I struggled with this myself. Like why can't it be like any other program where you just click, press shift and scale it up? But you have to wait until you see that symbol. So now that we got the hardest part out of the way, it's actually not that difficult to do. If you wanna make rounded corners, you can go over to mask expansion and you can expand it out and look at that, you get the rounded corners and there's still some more to do. But by the way, my name is Kelsey and welcome back to Premiere Gal. If this tip is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. You can also join my Patreon community if you want some more uh, tips there. I also do monthly streams with my patrons that focus on more in-depth questions that you can ask in a live Q&A with me. Also, this video is sponsored by Artlist, which is an amazing resource for music and sound effects for creators. The best part is that once you sign up, you can get two months free with my link below and you can get unlimited downloads. You can download as much as you want and for any platform, for TikTok, YouTube, everything is cleared and royalty free. And the stock video that I'm using in this video edit is from the sister company, ArtGrid, which has really high quality stock footage that you can use in any type of project. And I'm also excited to be an Artless mentor for the Artless Women's Creator Fund. So if you have a project idea around the theme of voice, you can apply for an Artless grant to win money as well as filmmaking gear for this project. And you'll get some mentorship sessions directly with me one-on-one. -on -one. You can have a video call and a chat about your project or anything related to filmmaking or video editing. So you'll find more info about the Artlist Women's Creator Fund just down below. And you can also sign up for Artlist or ArtGrid using my links below and get two extra months free. All right, let's jump back into the tutorial. All right, so from here, let's say you want to just expand one side, but not the entire rectangle. For example, we wanna make these sides a little bit closer to this edge and on the other side as well. So what we can do is go back into the mask here, select it to bring up the transform tools again, and we can click and lasso and select two of the corners. So both of these corners are filled in solid blue now. And what we can do now is just click and drag and move them, but it's not gonna stay locked in. So what we have to do is press shift and it will lock it into place and we can drag it over just like that. And we can do the same thing on the other side. Lasso and select both of these corners, drag first and then press shift to lock it. And there we go. Just like that, we expanded the edges. So now it's a much more wider frame. Also, one more thing you can do is play around with the mask feathering. If you open this up, you can use the slider to make the feathering more intense if you want more of an old film look, but I prefer it to be a little bit lower. So I'm gonna bring this back down to 10. So now you can take this new tip on resizing your rectangle mask and you can apply it to multiple different clips and create a variety of really cool split screens. You can even do circles as well. And I have another video that I made on how to create circle mask, which you can watch right up here. So now I'm gonna play the final music video that I put together with all the different masks layered on top of the footage and the music from Artlist and Artgrid. And if you wanna see the final timeline that I put together with all the effects, you can sign up to become a patron where you can download the files there and I'll put a link just down below. All right, enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh, that sugar sweet, sipping on the